Uh, I know that maybe a lot of people is still on the premieres. So, hello Doris, hello Tracy. I know that it was busy Sunday, but I I don't know. I'm kind of used to this uh, hour, so we will see. Uh, Hello, Linda, Janet, Gail. Just looking at my... Hello, Jody. Happy birthday, late birthday. Hello, Rose, Joanne, and everyone who is here. So, hello, Lisa. Hello, Linda. Uh, today, I decided that I will talk a little bit about... Hello, Mina um pouring mediums how to start maybe some of you will not be interested but um, how to start not how to start but sometimes still think that it's a lot of things that i don't tell or talk about in all of my videos and maybe it will help somebody new who will be watching this and maybe you will learn something else who already know that what i will talk about uh, and what i can talk about about dips of course um, so i will uh, try to explain different different how you can get different results so because you know there are a lot of lots of dips lot of reverse dips that you can do and you get totally different result and maybe if somebody will have some questions or that you will like to know about i don't know what you, you struggle the most and i will try to explain during um, uh, I have some, uh, you know, dry results that I will show and try to explain and I totally forgot to show you. Maybe I should start with pouring mediums. So those who know me, you know that I mostly use my pouring medium, that it's European. Uh, I know that Doris came up with something and uh, one friend of mine from states uh, that doesn't have a channel uh, came it with some mixtures and I will ask her if I can tell people on channel what she used but this this is what happened with the painting I stuck finger here don't watch this but this is the painting that I did if you remember using just over troll flow troll and it totally you see so obviously overthrow flow troll only is not good pouring medium for flower dips reverse flower dips whatever you want to do so maybe this will help somebody uh totally i put my finger here because i was you know just i don't know so disappointed so and to do a compare comparison and this one was done with my pouring medium so probably you can see the difference what is um the difference between <laughs> overthrow flow troll and my pouring medium this one dried really amazing maybe a little too gold for me uh so totally the different results so what i want to say that the pouring medium is important so uh, because still a lot of people send me you know pictures of uh, photos of flower dips that didn't turn out yes it is important in fluid art in acrylic pouring even though that all things look so 
I will say simple for somebody, you know, they are not. A lot, a lot, a lot of things is behind that, that you find the pouring medium that works for for the technique that you want to do. I have, I, I'm lucky that I found that, you know, that I use Bessner um, acrylic binder and uh, acrylic emulsion mixture for my pores and I can use this mixture for every pour that I do, not with the cloud pour. Okay. Imogen. Imogen, hello. Didn't see you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, when where I was, now I forgot. Oh, for a cloud pour, you know, if I do a cloud pour or pours that Sarah do a lot with enamel, uh, then I I do I have to put something else. So I put a liquid X pouring medium in, but basically I use my pouring medium as my float roll, and it works perfectly for me. Unfortunately. We still didn't find, found totally, you know, equivalent um, products in states. But I hope that we will. So, this was about pouring medium, the mediums that I said. Uh, about the consistency, I will talk later when I will pour. I will pour. I will not just talk. But I just want to talk about this today because it's important and maybe still somebody don't know. So you can use glue. It gives well, you yeah. a result and I already did some videos with glue so I will not talk about glue much. So, uh, probably, I don't know, probably it would be the best to turn to switch my camera and um, just uh, go to my paintings that I will explain a little bit about techniques to. And then we will, I will show you some dry results, some you will see here, and then we will go to pouring. And you know what is now my always struggling thing to turn my camera around without getting totally dizzy. And sorry for my hand again. Okay. Are we okay? And we still see this uh, tripod here, but I can't help that. Should be okay now. So, first, I will show these two because they are both... Uh, this one is from this week, you know, with the reds. And, of course, it is a little darker, but still dramatic and beautiful. Those are... Classic dips. Uh, this one was uh, with satin enamel mixture for a base. And you get, you see more that this uh, kind of um, cloudy, wispy edges. And I use it here in the between the, the this flower too. So uh, enamel mixture gives this cloudy kind of look. And here is this pearl white mixture that gives this look and 24 karat, no, it was extreme sheen probably, gold. Uh, and um, I have another one. This one is, I don't know, a long time ago. So maybe I should. So if you will pour your paint just, you know, like this and this and this and put canvas on you see primary elements <laughs> dip it in and lift right up you will get this kind of effect this was you know not in circles spirals it was just drizzling paints in all in all directions and you can get some kind of nice flower painting with that too and with this two if you want more like a, a, a flower bloom shape, or how can I say, then you drizzle in circle, you know, and lift again. So this is dip. I, and of course my, this is reverse flower dip. And reverse flower dips, for those who know, you know, it's with the, 
paper napkin or plastic. This was a bottle bottom pour. And this one is the one from yesterday that I did puddles. And probably you all know, but who don't know, you can do a spirals, but I don't know and I don't have any of those to show you, but you can see that with these reverse dips, shapes are more, you know, uh, straight or how can I say, but with those dips are more abstract, but still three-dimensional. So for those who already know, you already knew that, but I want to tell once more a few things just in case this, that anyone still don't know that. So I will now go to the dry results from last week. <coughs> My graffiti painting, it will not even fit into the camera. So this was, you know, that I played with palette knife and do some swirls and some ninja swipes and everything and it looks like a graffiti painting i think but i like it and i think that it would look really nice in some maybe man cave probably because it's more masculine or <laughs> and it's so three-dimensional i really like this painting i don't know why because it's cool and all those you see details are like from i don't know animated movie or something so this is this one and uh, probably i forgot last week that we have this shower think with marina show you those dry results that i used um Setting enamel mixture for a base. Do you see a, a head of a elephant here? Anybody sees see elephant? I see him. Raiko, do you see him? I I really love this painting. It's um, I love this green here and this tree here. And these rocks, kind of. And the elephant. <laughs> uh, so this is this, this one. And the next one that I did, it's maybe a little too wide. But I like it because it's sometimes I just like those paintings with a lot of negative space. And I love this blending of these colors here. And the tree and the, an old lady here, you see, it has something. This is her bag and her head and she's reading or writing something here on the, on the, on the, the skull, no, on the rock, on the rock, you see, I see it. So, you know me, I always, <clears throat> uh, find something in this paint with this paints but paintings but I see her you see and yes yes I agree so those two are I will say interesting and um, we are planning to do something with Sarah Taylor together so I can't wait to to do something like this again Ugh. okay and i have to put my painting shirt on otherwise i will be totally messy <laughs> okay so i already mixed some paints for today oh. so this is amsterdam greenish blue and this is amsterdam permanent red violet and here i mixed some uh, naples yellow light with naples yellow no 
Azo Yellow Deep and I have black for a background. Uh, and maybe I didn't decide which um, technique I will do because uh, and I will mix one like the pearl white I will mix on camera and 24 karat gold because still some people ask me what is my pearl white mixture so what I do I eyeball because and here is another thing it's not about that you mix your colors totally to the recipe for this technique at least you have to probably for those I don't know um, uh, cloud pores and those but I normally put and I I realized that lately I don't know probably pearl medium Vallejo pearl medium is a little different I used to mix those pearl Vallejo with titanium white in one to one ratio but now I put a little less white so probably three quarters no it's not one to one just a little less white than pearl medium and then I pour this is uh, my pour, pouring medium that I have mixed and then I just pour around two parts of that mixture that I had with Vallejo of my pouring medium and this is how I mix all my colors and then I add, add continuously adding water to the consistency that it's right for those pores this is a little thick and I will show you the consistency but with some other color maybe not white so which technique of flower dips reverse flower dips you struggle the most so maybe I can do that one that I can explain a little more if somebody have more trouble with some some of those dips and want to some more instruction of that technique or something and i will just shake all of them <laughs> Jane, all of them reverse Yes, uh, normal dips are are easier, I think, at least for me, than reverse dips because um, it's easier to get nicer result, I think, because it's more abstract. And when we do those, do I can Thank you, Emily. And this uh, 24 karat gold extreme sheen, I will mix about one to one because those craft paints, you know, are different than other paints. So this would be the right consistency. How should I show this? Like that, maybe? See, it leaves a little mound on the mound and disappears and leaves a little trace. <coughs> Raiko, what was the paper towel? Yes, so maybe I can talk a little more about paper towel part. I know that paper towel is... <laughs> the hardest part you probably know that I struggle a lot of times still with the paper napkin so what is important I will just bring a paper napkin I will just put this aside and bring a paper napkin Uh, 
again i use paper napkin napkins that i buy here in slovenia so i can't give you you know links or something but they are two flies they have two flies you see or how should i say two layers and what i normally do I spray it with water. I will show you how much. Because when I lift, I will try to demonstrate. When I try to lift, if I if it's uh, dry, it doesn't, you know, um, lift as nice for for me. This is just for me. Uh, and when you are lifting, uh, let's say I will just grab something. Let's say that we have our flower kind of here, under my napkin. Thank you, Kim. So, let's say that this is my pattern of a flower underneath. And when I lift my napkin, I don't want to lift that part that it's already, you know, a flower underneath, flower pattern, because if you will leave this too high and grab this paint with your napkin you can ruin your pattern so you have to try have to try no have to you should try to lift and now you see it's not so easy for me that's why i spray it just you know to just to um that it's a little more flexible you see how different it looks so and then then i try to keep my my flower pattern under the part that i already lift and th that's why i don't lift high at first you know and then you have to do that and still try to keep you still you see here is my pattern of a flower still and try to not grab too much of that when you do the second four of those it's it's so it's different because it's not no paint <laughs> okay because if you will when you will leave this if you will drag with you some part of the napkin it will you know drag black paint or white bait paint that it's on the base over your pattern and that's why you know we get those weird little um misshaped it's okay but if you want you you have to try to do that as careful as you can and you know then lift it slowly and try to keep this in the middle of your flower underneath because if you will leave that you know carefully in the middle you will get this middle part nice mina. bye mina so this is very important thing with the lifting yes it takes a lot of practice that you you know you you get this feeling or how can i say still i i still do a mistake so you know it's not so easy it's not easy i know that it's not easy so maybe <clears throat> uh reverse flower dip with what what should we do what kind of reverse flower dip because if you, probably it's easier for every technique to put your paint on, on in, in the squid bottles, but not no need to, you know. Uh, probably you all know about this tip, but if your canvas is not so tight when you grab it, you just spray some water grab it on the back
sometimes probably we just forgot those things that maybe some people don't know and you see it's much better now and it's tight again so uh any answers about <clears throat> Which one should we do? Bottle, bo bottle bottom. I think that I. It's a long time. You know, maybe can we can do this one first? I will grab a smaller canvas, eight by eight. I think that it's been a long time since I did the reverse flower dip with um, you know that i draw a petals you know just but i will put my painting squeeze bottle first <gasps> these little squeeze bottles because if you you know if you do this technique that you draw it's and for the spiral reverse flower dips if you do it with circles with puddles with every <clears throat> one of those techniques is bad it's better to have your paints in squeeze bottles but i lately i don't know i used to use a lot of those squeeze bottles and then i just mix paints and paints and paints and i have a ton of paint mixed in squeeze bottles and then i I don't know. I just don't use them lately. Um, because I think that... I don't know. I just don't. But for those techniques, it's much better to have your paint into the squeeze bottles. I, I bought these little, little ones. They are three O's. I think and they didn't work as nice with me yesterday with that puddle pour but hopefully today it will be better I think that this pearl white is still a little thick just a drop of water because um, I used to sometimes uh, mix my pearl white to thick, I think, and I didn't get these effects that I want, so uh, I want my consistency like others. And maybe I should grab some green somewhere if I have some greenery for a round. Do I have some green? I have neon green. I don't want that. Have some green gold and some olive green. It will work. So, as I said, uh, it's uh, it's been a long time since I do that kind of reverse flower dip, and it will be interesting for me too. I'm always a little unorganized. Where is Marina? He would organize my table and everything while I'm pouring. Marina probably sleeping today. She had a headache and it's full moon today. So, you know, sometimes and that's why probably went, whoa, what I had here to sleep early today so for <clears throat> for bottle bottom it's really important to have your base really smooth but uh, for those for puddles too I will say but for this um, where I will just draw a five petal flower or something not draw because I I'm not you know good at drawing just draw five petals <laughs> kind of um, oh and next week is Easter Sunday and we will have some fun 
videos again together with our company I will say our company Massey boys and Mina we will it will be extra extravaganza X X it's all about X eggs weird thing for me to say okay uh, and you have to have you know nice coat of background because otherwise you will pull pull a lot off with your napkin so this part is done Marina I need you that you will clean after me I didn't show you the vases and everything. I will show you at the end. Where is my torch? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay. So, I will start with this blue, I think. Whoop. One, two, three, four, whoop, five. <laughs> See? Just go once more around here. And next will be, will be pearl white. Whoops. So I will add pearl white and 24 karat gold with, between layers to hopefully get some lacing. So <coughs> you don't have to, but if you don't add those paints in between, you will get just, you know, normal, normal, just a deep without those lacing and it's not so much um, uh, I don't know I just like that lacing that creates this more of this petal kind of effect so just layering my paints around and the yellow and of course you can use any colors you want I just and uh, another thing for those dips it's it's not whoop it's better not to use as much no i don't want blue uh opaque colors because it you will not get as much lacing with opaque colors than with semi opaque or transparent colors so you can have one but not too much you know just add a little more yellow here on top uh, and you can do it just like this or you can add some greens around I just have some greenery here so up you see and that's why I don't like all those paints in squeeze bottles because I get blobs in this I know that uh, you can avoid that with some pantyhoses or something but I have I don't know how many squeeze bottles there and you can you have to change that every here and there maybe it's not the same with all pouring mediums but with mine this happens you see you that's why i stopped using them because of this <laughs> dry paint here okay yes yeah, like a gum okay hope that the olive green it's better and the little olive green on top Okay, and I will add some pearl white too, just to 
add some I don't know maybe some lacing or some uh, and here at this stage you can leave it like it is or you can maybe you know draw some lines okay let's leave that like it is and now I will grab a clean napkin not the one that I used before because I want the, the clean one and I will put my gloves off because uh, I don't like to grab this with the glove because I don't have a feeling so let's see I don't know about Marina I know that at the end of the April we will have a shower party her shower party with you uh, but you know she has a lot to do with uh, preparing a room for a little girl and uh, everything. So we don't live together. So if you know we would live together, it will be different. <laughs> yes, I uh, no, <laughs> sorry. I have my base a little thinner. This one almost doesn't leave a mound. Just a little thinner, but not too thin. That it will, otherwise your um, pattern will totally, you know, get lost. So now I will be quiet. So this will be the part that I talked about. I will not be able to to avoid totally my pattern because i have greenery around but you know i will try to keep my flower as much as i can so let's see what will happen let's grab this Oop. And I didn't do a really good job with this, I can already see. Okay, here is a flower. Where is one petal, you see? Lost. And maybe I should even thin down my white a little more. I don't know, but... I don't like this glare. Maybe this mm -hmm. will be better. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't realize. So, you see the gold created lacing and the pearl white still maybe a little too thick but it will develop a little more so and of course one two you know what in the middle but here it's not so bad because um i don't know i will not mess with those man parts so much today uh, and you see still I did lost some black on the corners and on the sides and you can just add them and it will level pretty much out so and this would be probably it Okay, I just don't like this black thing here. What is here? Like a cell from silicone or something. So weird. So I have Molly's stands. I think I can put it on Molly's stands. Molly sent me those stands, you know, that she sells. But they are out of stock right now, I think. Maybe if you want, you can check Molly's artistry for 
those. They are clean. <laughs> they will not be clean long. What's wrong with me today? <laughs> and they are for big canvases, not for those small ones. <laughs> okay. I will uh, put this one aside. And I don't know if this is level, Trajko. I don't know if it's level. Yeah? So, which technique should we do next? I grabbed this instead of paper. But now it is what it is. Now I can just do this. Which technique do you think that you still struggle the most? The napkin part is the same with all of them. Spiral. I didn't do a spiral for a while. I did one with those reds, but we can do a spiral. I will just clean this a little bit. I have foil on it, you see. Aluminium foil, so that I keep it clean, that Marino will not be mad at me. <laughs> Joking. I'm just, you know, I just sometimes forget and I just paint, you know me. And I have mess all around and it doesn't bother me because this is my art studio and I don't mind if I have paint here or there because... I don't know, it's just my art studio, so... Swipe! What is here? A little water. And I have to... No, I have the other gloves still. I'll just turn them around. Uh, Oh, we didn't spoke about balloon dips. I forgot. Um, for the balloon dips, it's similar. Maybe we can do some balloon dips because I didn't done them for quite so long too. But I don't like to use balloons. Maybe our balloons in Slovenia are different. I don't know. But they are just not as flexible as my gloves. So I, what I want to do, maybe we can do some balloon dip today. I like to blow this uh, glove. And I will not blow this one quite a lot because I don't have a big canvas, you know, and I don't want really, really huge, huge, huge... Uh, flowers so you know and you can see that this is totally different I hope that it will not then the balloons you see it's like almost like you know and that's why I like this more this is just my opinion not everyone's because I think that I have you know more it's jumpy you know that I have more control if I use that. So, let's do some balloon dip. Uh, for balloon dips, you don't need as much base coat, you know, it's thick base coat. Not thick as consistency, but as much base coat because... Um, otherwise your pattern will totally disappear but if you will have thin layer of base you will get more like round shapes but if you have a little more but I have a little too much here so I will just try to pour a little bit back on the in the cup if I can because it's not 
I don't know. Just... I don't know, maybe I I even add too much bass every time when I do balloon dips, but I like, I, I kind of like more that they don't look like round thing. So that's why I want some nice solid amount of bass, but not too much. <laughs> that it would be totally, you know, it's, you see, it stopped flowing almost so it's covered but it doesn't move a lot anymore this should be the amount that I'm looking for and now I will torch for the air bubbles what is here you see almost like there would be some silicone but I mix those colors today, totally, I see some dots of something. Maybe somewhere, silicone is weird, it stays a long time, so. Uh, so let's see. Okay. Kaipa? Better. Ma bit ini maš celo ovom. Ja, veš šta je sa čist drugače vidi na telefonu. Ok. So I will... You can do like that, that you do a puddle, so you can do, you know, kind of one puddle, or you can do little puddles in kind of the shape of a flower just your choice we will do different ones real quick and we will see what will happen and some violet no yes permanent red violet and some gold maybe i should do like this that you will see something and i will add yellow just here in the middle and maybe this is too little probably it is let's add one more layer here because your balloon will do you will you know spread this and i will get probably green here and then pull it again towards the middle Those are all dips, just, you know, different dips. And now I will grab my balloon and I will push it down and straight up. But if you, or maybe, you know, you can press it down and slide like, I don't know, Heather say this technique kind of balloon rolls, but she did it a little differently. So let's see. So straight down and up and i almost lose every paint and you see you can do a little one here if if you know if it's enough paint but it's not so i forgot my napkins i forgot that i need to you know But I like it because it's see and of course you know you can just dip a little more and now I will do one that it will that I will do a puddle with a little more paint and we will see a difference okay this one and gold. Okay. Yeah, Nikki, yeah. And yellow. Let's do some 
Hold this blue again. Some white. And some purple. Purple and blue. Barba. Okay. Down and up. See the difference? I like this one more. It looks like an orchid or something for me. Okay. So and now i will try to you know do one that i will pull the paint so here i will add maybe three puddles only so you can do it differently you know and you can play with that balloon is just a tool to you know create a, a flower shape kind of but you have a lot of freedom creating that so and you can see if you can use only i don't know three colors and some uh white uh, pearl white and extreme sheen and you can get nice nice colors together you don't need to use if you will use too much colors it's more likely that you will put a color in that it will not you know uh, create nice color if they will mix so because here they are mixed a little bit okay now i will grab my balloon again and i will dip it down and pull it you know to the side and down and to the side wow i would keep that on the balloon <laughs> on the glove i should say what do you think see how reaction is going and starts to to create cells beautiful cells how could i keep that i would love to have that <laughs> i can't it's not thick enough to have this and it will probably not stay i don't know i will try to leave um keep this and we will see what, what will happen what do you think and i will blow you but how can i Raiko, it will not stay okay it's okay so and I, now i can check on this one that it's beautiful too see see the difference i really like all three of them and now since i kind of like this painting but something is missing so now i need something here probably i will do one like this here here what a voice i had so i have to blow another one for the flowers okay Oh. and uh, you know this uh, paints react still so you you still you know go and do some deport too so 
where I will do one here again one two three one two three uh, it's been quite some time since I did balloon dip I, I totally forgot how much I enjoy doing those dips and I really love how those colors look together I really do because they are beautiful uh, and when I was afraid that I will get some green here I didn't and I really like this shade that it creates so okay and here is my clean one so I just grab those fingers together for this one that I do you know that I pull it and you see it's so flexible a bunny you see a bunny and down and to the side and totally different one wow but this on the glove is again beautiful <laughs> see and now I will use all my gloves that are because I will try to keep this on the glove but no maybe not Maybe I can reuse that one. <laughs> so, obviously there was less black paint, you see, because I got this different edge, you see, and here how it looks where when you don't have so much base as here, base color, base paint as here, you see definitely was this um, okay let's see Man. <laughs> let's see what I want to do next still missing something but just a little something here and since we are dipping Oh, sorry. Just have to grab something. <laughs> All the mallets can be, you know, your uh, dip tool too. If you will smash it, you know. Sorry, guys. It will splash all around. But if you just touch the paint and, you know, just slightly... You know me. I did that kind of pours with smashing and just dipping and something and I did with the thing that we cook in <laughs> I don't know the name and the, all kind of things can be your your swa um, dipping tool I even bought I will do this I will show you I constantly when I go to the store I constantly something see something that I could use I bought this thing I don't know and I I thought wow maybe if I do uh, um, flip cup and maybe dip this in and try to I don't know see how lift this up I I I don't know so a lot of things can be your dipping tool you don't have to use you know just um, balloons so i will just do one little puddle here or maybe two let's do two and i will just you see how those squeeze bottles constantly have um have to wait for my clock to tell you how how much time it is how how 
Which time is it? <laughs> How much is that dog in the window? I don't know why I remember that song right now. This song, I should say. Okay. No? Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. So, another tool to dip. So, I will just dip in and pull. And maybe try one. Here, you see, here is less paint again. And just, no. And here is not any paint left. So... I will just add, and if you don't like something, again, you can fix that. It's not, you know, that's how it's, it is. Thank you, Linda. Okay. And now I just need something here. Oh, I never know how to stop. Just a little one. Just a little one. 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 Two. Uh, so as you can see, you can play. You can do it that way. The other way. You can use small... Balloon, you can use glove, you can use mallet, you can use, I don't know, a jar. You can use your finger. You can use a lot of things to, to dip with and you will get different results. So, as I say a lot of times, just play with paint, experiment, enjoy. And sometimes, you know, something... Nice will happen, sometimes will not, but if you if you would have a great time, it will be worth it anyway. And that's why I enjoy this art because it's so much fun for me to to do that and experiment. And again, here was not as much black I will just help this whoop stem a little bit no I didn't do a nice job here and you see here comes another dipping tool your finger you can always correct some things with your finger and it's a, again a dipping tool. So a lot, a lot, a lot of dipping tools we have all around. So just try to use your imagination. Okay, just want to do something with this. Thank you, Anna. <clears throat> and I will leave it now. Probably. Maybe even this way. I'm not sure about this part. What do you think? Should I do something here or should I leave this negative space? I just love this one. And you can see if you do... This is one puddle and this is two dots. These two are beautiful too. And this one was with the five dots, so... One more, I agree. I need something here. But in which direction? This way. 
or this way or just one dip here yes but I will add a little more black here because I want I don't want this flower to be big and I want that it will have enough black that it will eat some corners not corners edges of of the the flower you know okay let's do one again this air and I will do just three and dip it in the middle not that it will be not sideways kind of flower just a flower <laughs> it will not be sideways flower just a flower it's flower anyway but you probably know what I think thought We used to do a lot of those balloon dips back then when I started. I love to do balloon dips. But then we just do this and that and again this and that. And then we just, I don't know, constantly something new is happening in this community. And you thought, think, yo, I have to try that. And sometimes it's just nice to go back to the things that you that we used to do back then three years ago i'm talking that it would be like 10 years ago no i pour a little more than two years two and a half years now so i will just dip this in and hopefully get some little flower here yes i did I will not look at my balloon because it will again I will again want to to keep my my glove and it will develop a little bit and I am done so you know that the uh, I know that balloon dips are different. Some people like those, you know. Uh, if you would um, have just a little bit of base coat and you will dip, you would have these round flowers. But I don't like kind of that round flowers. I, I'm more to those, you know, like fairies. <laughs> Look at the fairy here. Um, and I like those sideways um uh, looking flowers and i like how this yellow here and gold goes around like a, a light or something on this flower so i think that i am done we'll just try to just do this sometimes this just a little thing bothers you so much you know and just don't hesitate just try to make it work for you okay and now i'm really done so balloon dips uh you can tell me if you want that i i do some uh, videos uh, not live videos about I don't know different tools that uh, you can dip with I did a lot of them but maybe I can still you know because we we all grow and learn uh, through this um, process that we pour oh, it's, it was not level and uh, with new knowledge is sometimes so 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 fun to go back to the techniques that you used to do you know uh, because um, when i start my my reverse flower dips balloon dips i didn't have my pearl white i didn't know that those um, particular paints uh, like extreme sheen gold and uh, sterling silver and other extreme sheen paints create this beautiful lacing so um 
And sometimes it's fun to go back. I just have to wash my hands because I forgot to put my gloves back. And I have black paint all around my, all over my hands. What I want to say was that it's always nice to revisit your techniques that you used to do a lot with uh, all the knowledge that you have now, you know, uh, because a lot of different pouring mediums and a lot of different mixtures came in last, you know, period or so, and then, you know, you can experiment again. So... <coughs> Do you have another technique that I want, that you want me to explain a little more or this will be it and we leave something for the next, the next live maybe. Or some questions still that I can answer before I take you for a close up for those two flowers. Uh, to paintings <coughs> maybe should be it for today I, I I think that I explain a lot of things and maybe you can something cloudy spontaneous Brian you, you can contact me on my email or ask Doris. Doris will tell you my email, my contact. So, uh, I will try to show you now these effects here. You see those, those different effects that you get if you do if you do different kind of i love those two here and this yellow and gold you see how it creates kind of petals and this one here you see here was not a lot of black and here i get this round shape that i don't like as much as those you know because if there would be this all around it will really be a firework not a flower or how can i say these are not flowers flowers they are abstract but anyway see and this lacing you get from the extreme sheen and pearl white see i will say that i don't like that one because probably i should add more layers <coughs> sorry uh, thank you, Tana. But uh, you get the impression. How can you, you know, do or maybe do a little more? I don't know what. But this was the first thing that I tried to do with the um, flower dips. Thank you, Judy. With the reverse dips and everything. So, uh get the lacing and everything but you know me but i'm happy really happy with this one so if you want that i try to do some more dips techniques what you want what you want me to try to dip in <laughs> uh, to dip with so i didn't dip with the shoe maybe i can do that with some old shoes or something. Uh, maybe it would create something, you know, nice if we did dip and we never know. If we don't try, we don't know. That's why is this art so fun. You just uh, play, yes, uh, or just with the paper. Maybe we can do this. I saw Gema, Gema do this, you know, with the saran wrap thing, or maybe we can try to to do just with uh, some bubble wrap, you know, just to to dip and pull, or I don't know, 
cup bottoms, whatever. So if you will have some idea, you can write after in the comments. This will be it for today. And um, when this will be over, you know, after I don't know how many minutes, <laughs> just write in the comments, not in live chat. And maybe I can make this work. I still have some paints in squeeze bottle and still some mixed up that I have from today. So maybe I can do with the same colors. I would show you my dogs, but you will see all the mess. Flora, Nera. Flora. Flora is sleeping. Flora, say hi. <laughs> Flora doesn't want to. He's, she's old. So, uh, this will really be it. <laughs> uh, hope that this was helpful for somebody. Uh, have a nice Sunday and see you on the next one. Bye. Thanks for coming. Probably I didn't say. <laughs> Bye.